Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gideon in Jesus Christ. Guys, I just want to quickly come to you with a vision that God gave me um, the ending of uh, July 2019. Now, when I received this vision and I came out of it, I said, God, wow, because I wasn't even thinking about these two false prophets. Uh, the first one the Lord showed me uh, is a mega preacher called Jesse DePlantis. Many, many people heard about and know about this uh, preacher. But I saw Jesse in his church and I was standing by the door. And when I looked in the congregations, brothers and si congregation, rather brothers and sisters, uh, the people were laughing. They were just giggling uncontrollably because of what Jesse uh, DePlantis was saying. And they just began to laugh. And as they were doing that, brothers and sisters, the Lord drew my attention to one of Jesse's hand uh, on his middle finger. And I saw something very, very shiny for a split second. And then it just totally disappeared. And the Lord said to me, look again on his finger and really focus. Brothers and sisters, when I began to look at Jesse DePlantis' uh, middle finger, the whole finger, which is his middle finger here, the whole finger was filled with rings. And when I look closely at all the rings, could, you could have easily put about uh, 10, 15 rings because they were really small. But the image on these rings, brothers and sisters, was the Baphomet head. That was the image. Sorry about that. My two kids just came in the bedroom. Uh, the the image on all these rings on Jesse DePlante's hat finger was the Baphomet. I will leave a picture of this Baphomet that I saw on his finger. It was silver. Silver, look, it looks like real, pure, premium silver. You know, it's something got silver with a little bit of black in it and all that. This had no black in it, brothers and sisters. This was just pure, pure, real silver. And all his finger, I don't want to do that, but it's his middle finger. All of it was filled with the Baphomet ring on his hand. And then that vision ended. Then I went into a second vision where the Lord showed me uh, another false prophet called Brian Karn. Many people know about this uh, man. Uh, Brian was basically uh, telling the brothers in his church and encouraging the women uh, to come to church. They're going to have something like a women's day, but they should not wear any brassiere or panties. That is what he was encouraging the women to do. And he was telling the brothers in the church that it's going to be a women's Sunday and that these women should not wear any bra or any knickers. Uh, and then the Lord just tell me that that's the spirit of perversion in that guy. So, you know, these false prophets, brothers and sisters, are they're everywhere, literally everywhere. And God is warning because he wants those of us who are following these people to come out from amongst them. Because the issue is, uh, if you stay underneath the false prophets, the false witches, not false witches, because there's no such thing as false witches, but witches. If you stay under the false, under all these false teachers and preachers, witches and warlocks, we know that God's judgment is coming on these people. But you, if you continue to fellowship and stay underneath their ministries, the wrath of God will come on you. It's that simple. Uh, because the Bible is very, very clear. Come out from amongst them, my people, so you do not partake of the plague that God is going to send or the destruction or his wrath. It doesn't want that to come upon you. But if you continue to sit underneath these false prophet ministries, it's going to be up to you, brothers and sisters. But I just wanted to come to you. I was even thinking about Jesse DePlantis. I didn't even remember that man. Brian Karn is the furthest from my mind. But the, but, but the Lord showed me this because there's something kicking off in the spiritual realm. And he wants me to warn. So I'm coming with the warning. Jesse DePlantis having the buffer myth. Uh, 
rings on his finger. The congregation couldn't see it because it was there. Like, remember, I said it was there for a split second, something very, very shiny. And then it completely went. And the Lord said, look properly. And I focus. And all his fingers was filled with about 10 to 15 silver, solid silver Baphomet ring. I will leave a little picture of what I saw on this man finger. Guys, these people are in. It is sad. It is so, so sad because these people, I don't I doubt if they really love God. Who do they worship? Who do these people worship? Because it can't be the true Jesus Christ of the Bible. So, you know, and, and like I said, as well, Brian Carn with his perversion, that's the spirit of perversion, loss rather, spirit of loss inside of this man. So God is warning. So I just want to come to you and share this with you, my beautiful brothers and sisters. God eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon, someday in glory, in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.